Ah yes, the HP Chromebook X2. Now, if this thing were a deli sandwich, then it would be a specialty sub with an abundance amount of meats and bountiful toppings. I mean, it would be the whole shebang. Uh, chips, drink, even a deli pickle. If you can't tell, kind of hungry. Seriously though, the X2 does have a lot going for it. Not only is it a laptop, tablet, Chromebook convertible, the first of its kind I'll add, but the HP Chromebook X2 also comes equipped with a stylus and it's what separates itself from the majority of other Chromebooks out there. If you're a student who needs to take notes frequently but also wants the convenience of a proper laptop-like keyboard, then this is a great option. I'm no note taker, but I do draw frequently and I kind of have a love hate here with the X2. Now, it's not the X2's fault, more so Chrome OS and lack of Play Store app optimization. Some drawing apps work fine while others have hideous amounts of lag. You go to make a line and you'll just see that shit chugging behind, struggling hard. Thankfully, one of the best drawing apps, Sketchbook, does work relatively fine and it's an enjoyable experience. There's almost zero gap from when you draw, which makes it uh, similar to the iPad in that regards with its laminated screen, but it just isn't as smooth. I was able to get by just fine. The pen takes uh, a quadruple A battery and the pen is one of the more accurate that I've seen here on a Chromebook. Once I got used to how Sketchbook works and I got my workflow down and everything like that, I was able to produce some really nice work that I was actually happy with. One big plus to drawing on the X2 is that huge 12 inch screen. I found myself not having to constantly zoom in and out of the canvas. Another awesome pro here is being able to detach and flip the tablet around to use it in various angles while drawing and this feature alone is what sold me. If you're on a tighter budget and you're looking for a Chromebook specifically for drawing, then the HP Chromebook X2 is a good performer if you can overlook some of the uh, shortcomings, you know, like that poor app optimization with some drawing apps. The X2 paved the way for detachable Chromebooks. It was the very first to do so and it does it right. The keyboard is strong, sturdy, and built to last, which isn't something that I can really say for most detachables. I love the way the hinge is designed too. Uh, it allows you to use it in a variety of modes, if you will. Not only do you have your normal laptop mode, but you can pop the X2 out, flip it around, and kind of fold it down onto itself. I mean, you've got a handful of options here. I did find the X2 to be rather hefty though in tablet mode, especially with the keyboard attached. You're essentially wielding like a 12.3 inch slab of aluminum and glass. So yeah, hefty, but also premium filling. All the ports are found on the tablet part itself. Two USB type C ports on either side, which I can definitely appreciate. It's awesome not being tethered to a specific side when it comes time to charge. Jack is still hanging around too. Again, I can definitely appreciate HP not following trends there. Other than the volume rocker and power button, that's pretty much it. I mean, you do have these uh, pogo pins at the bottom, which are used to connect and talk to the keyboard. But other than that, nothing else. Now, speaking of that keyboard, it's included here. You don't have to go out and purchase it separately. And it's a really, really, really great keyboard. I cannot stress that enough. I mean, the keys have a good amount of travel to them. They give off a really satisfying tactile click when pressed and they feel rather springy, if that makes sense. Spacing is really nice too, there's plenty of room, and the trackpad is a joy as well. It's not glass, but it holds its own. It's pretty big and it's extremely smooth. No skipping, pinch to zoom, two finger scroll, and it's all butter here. Almost nothing to complain about here on this keyboard, except for the fact that it does add quite a bit of weight to the X2's already hefty feel, which alone comes in right around 1.7 pounds. Now you add that keyboard to the mix and that brings it up to a little bit over a three. I'll take the added weight though any day, so long as I can have a proper rigid keyboard. I absolutely hated fiddling around with the Surface keyboard and trying to prop that thing up. It just wasn't a good experience. This on the other hand, fantastic. Let's go ahead and talk about the display. It's a heavy hitter for sure. With a resolution of 2400 by 1600, you can't expect nothing less than crispy goodness. 
I don't think it has the most accurate colors. Uh, if anything, they're rather punchy. Now, media consumption has been a damn good time just due to the sheer size. It also has front-facing speakers, which just pump out volume. I'm a big fan of front-facing speakers. I mean, I think every single device should have them, and I'm glad they're here on the X2. But for a pair of front speakers, I was a bit bummed. Like I said, they get extremely loud, but they also lack that oomph. Also, anything over about half volume or so tends to sound a bit tinny. The speakers here are probably the most disappointing thing about the X2. I will say that maybe, just maybe, your experience may differ only because my right speaker was distorted. It almost sounded like it was blown, so it would crackle at high volume. Performance is possibly the most important thing right next to battery life. I mean, you want a snappy, quick performer, don't you? Well, the X2 isn't the most powerful Chromebook out there, but it handled everything I threw its way with no problem. Uh, multiple Chrome tabs, right? Editing photos and even doing some gaming here and there. Nothing could stop the X2. I will say that if you're a heavy multitasker, the four gigabytes of RAM might not be enough for you, but so far it's held up just fine in all my testing. Again, my main use case for the Chromebook X2 was using it as my sketch pad. But like I said, I even tested out a few games and uh, PUBG was able to run just fine at its lowest settings, no problems whatsoever. If you're looking for a Chromebook for media consumption, drawing, and gaming, any of those will do just fine. I will say that I would not recommend the X2 for anyone looking to do some video editing. It just wouldn't be an enjoyable experience Plus, in my opinion, apps just aren't there yet. Man, oh man, has the battery impressed. I mean, I thought the iPad was great. The X2 is just outstanding. Expect anywhere between like nine to 15 hours of battery life, depending on your use case. I mean, it can just go the distance all day long. There's been a few times where I would just, you know, use this thing nonstop for like eight hours straight and not having to, you know, constantly worry about battery life is just like the best thing ever. Standby time is just, I mean, get out of here, man. You can leave this thing for a few days, come back and you got just about the same amount of juice that you started with. I can praise the battery life all day long. If you come here strictly wondering about cameras, what is wrong with you? Just get, get out of here. <laughs> just like on, you know, all other laptops, the cameras are an afterthought. They're there if you need them for video calls or whatever, but just don't use them. I think the X2 is an extremely well-rounded device and it does a lot right from the keyboard to the stylus and even down to the tablet experience. It offers a great variety of capabilities and if you're not looking for one particular thing and you need that option to be able to switch between this and that like a fucking transformer, then I give the green light on the X2. Another option you might want to consider that's a bit more affordable is the Samsung Chromebook Plus, which isn't a detachable, but I did a full review on it and it's a solid option. I'll link that on card now, but that's about it. Do me a favor and like that smash button. You, uh, you definitely should subscribe. And if you really want to make my day, just go ahead and leave me a comment down below. I really do love hearing from you guys. I'm out. I'll catch you guys in the next one.